Good morning, students. In this video session, I would like to explain about a uh, one more uh, animal kingdom phylum, kingdom Mollusca. What are their significant characteristics? What are their general characteristics? Classification also I will be explain. Dear students, see on that board phylum Mollusca. As usually, each and every phylum name having their one of the significant characteristic here uh, before mollusca arthropoda why they are we are keeping the name of uh, arthropoda arthro means a uh, joint uh, and poda means uh, legs uh, joint having organisms uh, legs okay so joint legs containing organisms we called as a arthropoda name by using of that name as like uh, here today topic phylum mollusca that mollusca name meaning is a soft body in the animal kingdom some of the organisms body as having the very smooth and soft body those organisms are keeping under the phylum mollusca now come with a today video session here first statement about the phylum mollusca this is the second largest phylum what is the first largest phylum Arthropoda is the first largest phylum. After Arthropoda, second largest phylum. How you say that is the first and second? Which phylum have or consisting huge number of organisms? Based on the number of organisms, we can say. So, here second largest phylum that mollusca. And then that mollusca organisms are in which place they are located, habitat. Some of the mollusca organisms are terrestrial and some of the aquatic. So, here simply for understanding wise, we should be need some of the example, examples. By the examples, we can able to find out that characteristics. What I explained now the characteristics, these characteristics identification wise in our mind, we should be keep one imaginary uh, examples. Here mollusca best example pila snail generally we call it a snail and then unio nothing but a hal chippa mutt in tamil it is a mutt okay right here these are by the keep it in your mind that examples a snail and a mutt okay then here that and all mollusca organisms are terrestrial and aquatic so mutt is belongs to aquatic Snail may be, uh, sometimes it can able to lead their life in the terrestrial places. In aquatic, uh, marine also and freshwater also. Then come to the next uh, statement uh, that is in the symmetry. What type of symmetry is exhibited to mollusca? Here mollusca organisms are exhibit the bilateral symmetry. As yes, usually this we know the previous phylums also bilateral symmetry. I think in this uh, time I will be recall the several uh, phylums. Uh, here first porifera, porifera after cylindrata, those are all radial symmetry, radial symmetry, okay, tenophora biradial symmetry. Adi kaparam, aski helminthes and then helminthes, platy helminthes, those are all from the, from the phylums onwards bilateral symmetry. But here I mentioned in this place, we are asymmetrical, asymmetrical mean, that organism does not have any symmetry because of a very most important characteristic of these mollusca organisms, not all organisms. Some of the mollusca organisms are having the asymmetrical symmetry because asymmetrical means not to have any symmetry because the body cannot cut into the two equal parts because that organisms are having the torsion. In their body, they are having the torsion. Okay, now torsion was present in the snail. If you observe the snail body, it has the one torsion. The total body is uh, having the torsion madri, just uh, turning, okay, rotational. Sir. So, number of rotations are present. So, that is why we cannot able to cut the two equal parts. And then come to the next statement, coelom. In the coelom character, these mollusca organisms as usually, it is similar with arthropoda and anelida. So, here what are the characteristic is similar with uh, Arthropoda and uh, Anelida Shizocelomate. What type of coelom is there? Shizocelomate. Shizocelomate is uh, one of uh, 
one of the eucylometric type okay then come with the next one segmentation 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 also called metamerism here body having any segmentation in this mollusca the body not had have any segmentation unsegmentation now see nana comparison with these mollusca organisms with uh, arthropoda arthropoda having the somewhat of advanced character than the mollusca because of uh, arthropoda organism shows the segmentation but uh, these mollusca shows a uh, unsegmented body okay arthropoda organisms bilateral symmetry but some of the mollusca organisms are showing the asymmetry so here generally mollusca is a developed phylum than the arthropoda but some of the characteristics not at much well developed okay then the so here segmentation is unsegmented and then next sliding regarding to the body we should be remember we should be uh, know about the body here uh, the body is soft already here i mentioned mollusca name is given by the soft body containing animals under mollusca only na so here body is a soft sponge like uh, layer says they here that body in this column that body distinctly separated into head part and then muscular foot muscular foot and then uh, visceral mass visceral mass nothing but uh, now uh, recall the snail body that snail body head we can able to find head will be come out from the shell correct na and then and then the bottom they are having the foot for locomotion bottom of that uh, snail and then some of the part uh, snail uh, it is present inside of the shell it is not at uh, expressed to outside so uh, here that head is visible muscular foot muscular foot is a uh, is a uh, for useful for locomotion and visceral mass visceral mass present inside of the shell so here uh, a general structure of uh, body here uh, when you see in the body the total body is a uh, covered with a shell okay sometimes a shell is present inside of the body itself also okay maximum number of uh, mollusca organisms body is uh, covered with a shell maybe that shell is present in inside or maybe outside skin below that shell is there na that is a endoskeleton okay if uh, above the skin shell is there na that is a exoskeleton now i will tell one example for uh, exoskeleton snail is a best example or mouth is a best example shell is present in the outside of the body and then uh, laligo and sepia when you uh, see in the national geography channels uh, we can find it uh, these uh, laligo and sepia organisms that organisms body outer side smooth uh, but inside uh, shell is there so that's why we call it the endoskeleton okay whatever it is so here uh, a general explanation the body is uh, covered with a shell uh, and internally body mass is there this is the shaded part is a body mass in between of the body mass and shell uh, a space is there a little bit uh, gap that gap we call as a mantle cavity what it is mantle cavity the below the shell uh, one uh, important layer that is a mantle layer what a mantle layer that mantle layer only to synthesis uh, these uh, shell okay then in this place uh, basically situationally in this place body mass onwards uh, one of the mass will come out that is will act as a foot foot locomotion locomotory organ okay then here i mentioned seen in a mantle cavity it is a mantle cavity below the shell white color line is the shell below that uh, space that is mantle cavity in the shaded place is a body mass now these mantle cavity containing with a uh, feather like gills uh, and tinnidias mantle cavity possessing with feather like gills and then these tinnidias gills tinnidias function they play an important role in the respiration and excretion also and excretion also when the water is going through the gills the oxygen will be exchanged in the into the body and as a simultaneously that nitrogenous waste material will be elevated or eliminated from the these tinnidia and these feather like gills okay so this is a, a normal explanation regarding the body of mollusca 
then come to the next one another system here circulatory system hmm? circulatory system here circulatory system is a open type now comparison understanding we should be do here uh, mollusca organisms uh, circulatory system is a open type adiki munnadi arthropoda arthropoda blood circulation that is also open type but adiki munnadi anelida organisms blood circulatory system uh, it is a closed type that is advanced character which one is the advanced anna closed type is a advanced comparing with the open type okay when the closed circulatory system is more protection than the open circulatory system so here uh, mollusca organisms are having the open circulatory system open circulatory system and then here uh, in the mollusca several uh, classes are there several classes end of this video i will tell about that one of the class uh, cephalopoda one of the class as uh, cephal class uh, cephalopoda is having the closed type of circulatory system okay some of the very very uh, important questions regarding to this circulatory system because of uh, what are the exceptions exceptional class in the mollusca showing or exhibiting the closed circulatory system which class nana cephalopoda organisms are exhibiting the closed circulatory system okay then here open circulatory system as usually seems like uh, arthropoda here blood we call as a hemolymph because of uh, sometimes respiratory pigment is not at there but sometimes respiratory pigment copper containing respiratory pigment i think so yesterday previous video also regarding mollusca so regarding arthropoda we discussed the same thing only here uh, hemocyanin hemocyanin see cyanin means a copper contain so copper containing uh, respiratory pigments containing uh, so blood uh, in the form of the blue color because of copper is represented in blue color only na so then next uh, very most important uh, characteristics of the mollusca here no time mention radula radula it is a mastigatory organ it is a mastigatory organ idikku munnadi arthropoda arthropoda mastigatory organs are not at well developed mastigatory means food after taking of the food that with the mastigatory organs food will be full will be converted into the small particles just like our teeth are useful for mastication so here mastigatory organs in mollusca radula that radula is present in buccal cavity idikku munnadi organisms not at have this type of characteristics but here one thing want to discuss by walls by walls these by walls are not at have these radula okay always uh, some of the exception in the some of the systems here circulatory system time all the mollusca organisms are having the open type but except cephalopoda cephalopoda what type of uh, circulatory system closed as like uh, all the organisms are having the possessing radula but uh, one of the class of the mollusca that is a bivalve uh, does and all not at have radula structure okay then next one okay then nervous system another uh, system of the mollusca nervous system here nervous system also not at much developed not at much developed that mean uh, brain is not at developed it is a poorly developed comparing the arthropoda here mollusca organism nervous system is not at much developed okay here ganglionated tissue is there only ganglionated tissue i am discussing about the nervous system that mollusca nervous system is not at developed like uh, arthropoda So comparing with the these mollusca arthropoda nervous system somewhat have developed here uh, brain is not at there only ganglionated tissue only is there and then along with these nervous system it is uh, having the some of the sense organs tentacles uh, eyes also is there it is and all receiving the some of the external environment onwards uh, stimulations uh, it will receive by that stimulations uh, organism will be shows a uh, response here one of the important sense organ in the buccal cavity that is asperidium this word asper don't confuse here asperidian here radula asperidium is function is different radula function is different radula function 
his masticatory in function here aspiridium function when they drank the water that water taste purity taste of purity of the water water having any toxic substances or how much toxic substances are there based on that it can able to find out the toxicity levels of water ok that will be prevent the intaking of the water if any toxic substances are present in the water bodies that water is not at intakeable to the organisms. Then here these asperidium structure we can see in the only gastropod and a pelicipoda. Pelicipods. I said several classes in the molluscara that several classes having a different characteristics. Here cephalopoda organisms are closed type of blood circulatory system that is a special character especially in the cephalopoda. And then these rodula all the classes are having the rodula but bivalvata not at have. As like here sense organs, one of the sense organ is aspiridium. That aspiridium only present in the gastropoda and pelicipoda. Okay. Then next uh, characteristic excretory system. That excretory system wise uh, here uh, mollusca organisms are having the metanephridias. Metanephridia, I think so, nephridia what we seen in the platyhelminthes time. In the platyhelminthes, uh, the nephridias we call the flame cells. Recall that a platyhelminthes characteristic excretion done by the flame cells are protonephridia, we called as a protonephridia. At the kaparam, anilida time, metanephridia, so we see metanephridia, little bit developed. Always a meta indicates a next generation, okay. Meta, pro meta, okay. Meta nephridia, nothing but a kidneys, but not at much developed kidneys. Now second character, another character that is related with reproduction. Here mollusca organisms are dioecious organisms, dioecious organisms. Dioecious means unisexual and then gonochoric, gonochoric also called as a gonochoric. Though so male and female organisms are separate, dimorphic nature. Then here. oviparous these reproduction wise they is and all lays the eggs so such a nature we call as a oviparous then development maybe development is direct or maybe indirect direct means directly they are producing the young ones indirect means larva stages are there here larva stage is a villager larva the name is villager larva that villager larva seems like Anilida larva, anilida larva name anana, trochophore larva, here I mentioned, here I mentioned, venigella larva also seems like a trochophore larva, that a trochophore larva modified, a little modifications it is formed into the villager, nothing but a trochophore larva belongs to anilida, villager larva belongs to mollusca. But when you see the similarities of the, these trochophore and the villager larva, they are having the something similarities, little modifications we can find it. That is here what are the example of these mollusca organisms, pila and cephia and octopus, pila therium and cephia and octopus, devil fish we called as a devil fish and a loligo and a dentalium. These are the different examples of mollusca. No, no. See habitat where they are located, symmetry, what type of symmetry, coelom, what type of coelom is there and segmentation is unsegmented and body, what are the body is they are possessing and mantle cavity is a special character of the Munnadi phylums not yet have these cavities and body cavity here, hemocyl, true coelom and kidneys and gonads, pericardial space, the body cavity is present uh, kidneys, uh, gonads, uh, these and all presence in body cavity and then uh, circulatory system already we seen the important uh, characteristics of the radia, their function is mastication and nervous system is less developed, uh, ganglionated tissue only and sense organs, uh, it is a asperidium, asperidium is uh, one of the important sense organs, uh, it is uh, useful for uh, 
pure testing of a purity of the water and then these excretory system what type of metanephridias are there and uh, reproduction dioecious uh, and uh, developmental time uh, either direct uh, or indirect uh, what larva villager larva examples uh, now only we completed here then next one uh, classification of mollusca in the classification of mollusca the total phylum of uh, total phylum mollusca classified into the seven classes that seven classes uh, names you should be remember and examples why they are keeping the name that is nf see here uh, aplacophora eplacophora placo means uh, i underline one placo mean uh, placo mean uh, plate a means uh, without the body does not have any plate like substances uh, plate like structures that is called uh, a placophora okay example neomania neomania and then polyplacophora placo means what i explained here plate like structures poly means many many plate like structures if it is present uh, that organisms are keeping in the polyplacophora example chiton example chiton and uh, monoplacophora i think so you received here mono means a single kada mono a single placophora placo means a plate this a neopelia neopelima then gastropoda when you come to the these first three the first three that and all totally depends upon the plate like structure is there or not and then remaining four remaining four gastropoda and scaphopoda and uh, pelisipoda and cephalopoda these and all they are classified based on the poda foot see first uh, gastropoda gastro means uh, belly belly means our stomach only na so gastro belly then uh, in this gastropoda only they are having the torsion the first uh, first explanation time characteristics explanation time some of the organisms are uh, asymmetrical some of the organisms are uh, asymmetrical what are that asymmetrical which are the organisms are cannot cut into the two equal parts uh, that is called uh, asymmetrical see see on that screen that uh, why that organism is asymmetry mean uh, here that and all having the torsion uh, the rotational thing snail is a best example here i mentioned pila is a snail and then uh, scaphopoda scapho nothing but uh, scapho means a uh, boat the foot is nothing but se seems like a uh, boat shaped boat shaped so boat shaped foot containing organisms example dentalium dentalium and then uh, pelisipoda pelis means uh, axe axe means a uh, tree cutting time we are using now uh, that is a uh, pelisipoda that uh, pelisipoda example unio 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 what is in tamil it is a it is a mut all chip mut and then last cephalopoda cephalo means head cephalization time i said distinct head is there that cephal cephalopoda poda means leg legs are present at the place of the at the place of head region so these last four gastropoda scaphopoda pelisipoda cephalopoda that and are classified basing on the legs poda foot is present in which place and first three are regarding to the how many plates are there in their body okay here example you should be remember some of the neat questions are they are asking regarding matching okay which as the example for which class here uh, aplacophora example neomania and then polyplacophora chiton and monoplacophora example neopelima and then gastropoda example pila and uh, scaphopoda example dentalium and pelisipoda example unio and uh, cephalopoda example octopus octopus only we called as a devil fish octa means eight arms are processing 
they are having the eight arms. So, here in this uh, total mollusca, we should be remembered asperidium, asperidium structure and radula. First uh, video beginning time I said uh, radula, here uh, torsion, torsion, okay. What are the phylums are having the what characteristics, uh, exceptional characteristics or uh, special characteristics, uh, those and all very important in NEET.